Good morning. Today we are going to go over the top 10 tips to improve your sleep. Tip number one, get an awesome mattress. This is my mattress, the Aeroflex Molly Premium Visco Gel. It was 2000 bucks. It was worth every penny. We spend at least 20% of our life on our mattress. You owe it to yourself to go to a mattress store and try every mattress until you find one that you fall in love with. Tip number two, do not exercise within two hours of when you plan on going to sleep. When you exercise, your adrenaline starts running and then it's hard to relax. Next tip is to avoid caffeine after 5 p.m. But it is good to have warm tea or milk right before sleep, decaf only. Decaf milk. Don't eat a big dinner right before you have to go to sleep. Light meal, uh, high in carbohydrates, it is easy for your body to process. The hot tea or shower before bed actually follow the same principle. You're raising your body temperature and then afterwards as your body cools, that signals bedtime. Disruptive or inconsistent background noise will prevent you from getting a good night's sleep. Your body is designed to process audio to prevent danger while you're sleeping and this can be very distracting. Tip five, if you live in a place with lots of background noise, use a white noise machine to get a restful sleep. Number six, try and go to bed at the same time every night and wake up at the same time every morning. This will help fix your biorhythm. Okay, I know this is gonna sound like crunchy granola, but lavender essential oil will help you sleep better. Tip number eight, don't play on your phone in bed. It's very challenging. Instead, read a book. Reading a book will make you tired. A phone will make you more awake. Number nine is use a sleep tracker on your smartphone to help you track your sleep cycles. When you track something, you improve it automatically. And the last tip for a good night's sleep is create a good sleep environment. So that's dark, it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 18 degrees Celsius, and quiet. So Mitt asked a great question about audiobooks. Absolutely, they're a great way to fall asleep. It's actually the blue light from your screen that suppresses melatonin and that's what makes it hard to fall asleep. So if you are using your phone to listen to audiobooks, as long as your eyes are closed, your head is on the pillow, this is a great way to fall asleep. And it's a great way to read books.